I was so happy when I found out I was pregnant. It was the best day ever. And I remember Toby saying, it's a girl. <laughs> and I was like, how do you know it's a girl? He's like, I know it's a girl. And her name is Muffin. <laughs> we always gave her name Anna um, after my mom, but it was, yeah, it was Muffin. Little Muffin. It's the best. Pregnancy. Yeah, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought that because I was so fit and strong and ate so well that when I got pregnant it was just going to be a breeze and it was not <laughs> it was not a breeze it was morning sickness and then I finally started feeling a bit better I was on the plane I was like I feel like a, my chest is burning a little bit and I called my mom and she's like I think you got reflux so then I had the worst reflux and then I developed restless leg. So I had extreme morning sickness, extreme reflux, restless leg, and then to top it off right at the end when I was feeling great, I started getting sciatic nerve pain running down both my legs. So I eventually just couldn't walk. And then I gave birth. And then thankfully it all went away. But the whole pregnancy, safe to say, I did not enjoy it. It was tough. I never faked being healthy and happy and strong. I definitely, there were times where I said, you know, I'm struggling, I'm tired, but it was hard because I did want to show women that an active pregnancy is, is okay. And I think that was really new to social media. There was one time there that it almost got a bit, it got a bit heated. It was sort of like the few uneducated comments that are coming through things like, well, your baby's going to fall out of you and die if you keep doing squats or, um, if you keep working out like this, you're going to give your daughter a complex. When you're a mom, that <laughs> grinds your gears a little bit. But it was just like those two comments out of like 500 that would really annoy me. And I had to realize there were 500 positive comments and those two people I just needed to ignore. I was thankful for growing a human, but yeah, being an athlete and then to be pregnant, to be such at a high level and to drop so far down to even beginner beginner just not being able to actually physically put one foot in front of the other that was extremely difficult for me and because i love sport and i was active my whole life i don't know what it is to not be active so for someone to say you just need to sit and do nothing that didn't work well with me yeah it was hard i just couldn't almost couldn't wait to just have Anna in my arms. And I think as a mom, and especially as a new mom and your first baby, you're constantly worried. You're just like, I just want my baby safe, breathing healthy in my arms. That's all I wanted. And the moment she came out and they gave her to me, there was a feeling of love, but almost this feeling of relief that I'm so glad you are breathing. I'm so glad I can see you. And she was fine. And I just remember them saying, she's healthy and look at all that hair and I was just like all I could just think was oh, thank god <laughs> thank god just give it to me um so yeah I know a lot of people say they feel this big love bubble and this big I was just so happy she was safe I actually loved the whole hospital experience I know some people didn't but I loved it it wasn't till I actually got home that things got really really real and it wasn't necessarily Anna, she was perfect. It was me and my hormones that I really struggled with. My lactation hormones were kicking in. I felt like I had the flu, so my heart was racing. I was getting sweaty, hot and cold. People coming up, they were passing Anna around like a little doll. She was calm, she was quiet, she was asleep, but I was panicking and I remember just being like, I remember my mum looking at me and she saying like, like go in your room. So I went into my room and Toby came in and he just gave me a big hug and I burst into tears and I was like, please get everyone out. I just don't want anyone here. I'm freaking out. And I had never experienced anxiety before, but it was constant. And I'm so thankful that Anna was so calm that she wasn't actually the problem. It was me. So me and Toby and Anna's bond was really strong. It was just the recovery. I found it quite difficult. Not being able to sit out of bed I honestly don't think I can ever describe that feeling of just lifting your head up and then your body just does not follow and then putting your head back down and going, all right, how do I get up? <laughs> I never thought I would be in a position where I'd have to 
start again. I've been a trainer for 10 years and I was lost. That sense of fear and anxiety, that's not fair.